Now, again, um, what is, again, something that seems to have, have, have been so obvious to all of us, uh, and because there's any number of examples, are all the spiral forms that there are in nature. Uh, this, these uh, drawings have been taken uh, from a book published in 1908 by a man called John Bell Pettigrew. But as, if you look at them, and I'm not going to dwell on them for very long, I'm just going to pass them through, um, what you see in all of them is that there is no straight line, circle, and or point. So there are none, of, none of these things can be, can be drawn with any of the systems we usually use for, for designing whatever our technical artifacts are. Nature doesn't seem to have any use for, uh, for straight lines. Uh, I mean, even in the, in the galaxy, the same, that's the Whirlpool galaxy, it's overlaid actually with the hyperbolic spiral. Uh, of Walter Schauberger, which is in its simplest form, again, so that you can see the outside from, from the outside to the inside movement uh, it can also be mathematically defined. So m <coughs> most of these spiral forms uh, can be reproduced in one form or another quite accurately mathematically. Again, you have another example, that's the eye of a, uh, a hurricane. Again, we have this movement from the outside to the center, from, from uh, practically no movement to a uh, very high movement fast movement. Uh, and at the other end of the scale, it goes down to uh, the DNA molecule. Again, all these vortical helical um, uh, phenomena we can see, but we have never tried to copy them. For some reason, we, they're all associated with energy, but we just don't do anything with it. We, we are so fixed in our attitude to explosion technology with pistons and, and rams and wheels and all sorts of things like that. We don't understand seem to have come to grips with the idea of spiral movement. Now, again, according to Victor, you see energy is primary and the form is the secondary effect. 